Okay, we're going to plant some tomatoes now in the grow bags for the Growmatic planter. Now, there's one thing to understand about tomatoes. There's two different kinds. There's what's called determinant, which means they grow up three, four feet tall, stop, and produce their tomatoes. There's what's called indeterminate, which means it goes for an indeterminate amount of time. It'll keep producing, producing heirloom ones that grow 15, 20 feet tall. When you plant in the Gromatic planter, they've got so many great varieties now, like Husky Red and some other ones that you can plant. If you just go on and look or ask your local nursery or go on and Google it, you'll see determinate to tomato plants or patio type tomato plants. Those are the ones you want because they're going to be perfect. They'll work in a five gallon grow bag, which you're going to get with your Gromatic planter. A red one here. Here's a brown five gallon. We're going to plant this in a green one. Here's the determinate type tomato plant right here. Now planting a tomato plant is a little different than other vegetables because it does need some additional fertilizer because it sucks a lot of nitrogen up and it also needs some lime, garden lime, okay? So we're going we're gonna to get ready to do that right now. Okay, we're going to plant this determinate type tomato plant. So here's our five gallon grow bag. Let's open it up. And let's use a good potting mix. Never a potting soil, only a potting mix. So we're going to add some right now in the bottom. I've got a bigger container over here. And we're going to we want to add about three, four inches in the bottom. And we want to do like we did with the one gallon. We want to push to the sides and push hard so we get the shape of this bag nice. So we're going to flatten it out like this. That's going to make the bag itself nice and oval. Okay, a little more. And you can plant tomatoes a little deeper than other ones because the stems themselves will root. Okay, I'm going to take this tomato plant out, take it out of the container it came in, and put it in here. And now I'm going to add some additional, a little more around here. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to add an amendment so you don't get blossom end rot, which is you might see. You can get blossom end rot on melons, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, that black spot. That is a lack of a magnesium deficiency. So I'm going to take one cup of powdered limestone. And you can find this most places. Sometimes you find it pelletized, but you can smash it. And I'm going to put that all the way around here. And then I'm also going to put in one tablespoon of Epsom salt which has magnesium just your standard regular Epsom salts you can get at any pharmacy dollar store okay we're gonna put that in now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that in really good in the top two-thirds of where this tomato plants going in okay I'm gonna mix that lime and that Epsom salt in there now I'm going to continue to fill it on up, okay? Now I got it about two-thirds full, and before I get I can water it really well right now. That'll help getting the capillary action going. So I'm going to really water it. Because it's a big bag. The one gallons you can water them when you're all done, but uh, these bigger bags to get it really saturated well, it works it good if you water it when it's about half full, two thirds full, before you add any more. See, it's going down really good there. Now I can add some more potting mix. And what we're going to do different is we're going to add a couple of different kind of fertilizers. Now let me just say, when you're doing any of this, you can use an organic potting mix. You could, if you want to stay strictly organic, that's fine. You can do that. You don't have to buy a, and you can get granular organic fertilizers. 
also or use blood meal blood meal is an excellent source um, soybean meal is an is another one there's other ones that you can use that are uh, great nitrogen ones that are you can taste totally organ organic okay here's what we're gonna do now I'm gonna go up there I've got it almost full before I put my I'm gonna put a cup or a cup and a half of 1010 fertilizer in there okay I'm gonna water the heck out of this but I don't want to water it once I've got fertilizer in there because unless it's time release fertilizer because it'll give an instant shock to the plant way too much we don't want that now if you're going to use like Osmocote you can put three a tablespoon per gallon this is a five gallon bucket so you can see water starting to drip from the bottom that's who now when you set this in your chromatic planter it will as the plant wants water it will suck it up and it'll work fantastic okay we're gonna add some 10 10 10 fertilizer I've got over here now but we're not gonna water that in now watch this here okay I'm gonna take a smaller five gallon I'll put like a cup cup and a half but you're gonna put it way around the very outside rim away from the roots okay you don't water this in way around the outside row there's one cup and I'm gonna give it about a half a cup more okay keeping it way wet now what I'm gonna do is add some more potting mix but I'm not gonna water it in anymore and it will slowly dissolve as the plant needs the extra additional nitrogen instead of the 1010 you could put a natural like I said organic or the time release uh, five tablespoons of the Osmocote now what I recommend I don't have any right here is you can put like a wood mulch on top here but anyway now that's all set to go in your Gromatic and you've got one ready to go and that's how easy it is thanks